When making trades, in particular with options, we need to be aware of these permissions that we can be granted through the brokerage firm that we're trading with. So with options, there's typically going to be four tiers, and each tier becomes more complex with the strategy that requires a higher level of permission to execute that tier. So in particular with interactive brokers, we can see that they have four tiers on this page, and I'll put a link in the description of this video if you're curious to see this page and these tiers, where it starts off with the simplest tier at level one with covered calls, then the next tier has everything in level one and then more strategies and then they just get more and more complex. So in order to get access to these higher tiers, we basically need to prove to the brokerage firm whether we're capable of handling these higher uh, level strategies. So what will that depend on whether we can access that or if they grant us permission? So there's basically gonna be four key categories and I'll show you in Interactive Brokers how we can go through and change our settings and stuff to get different levels of permissions. So the tiers are generally gonna be based on these four things. So it's gonna be experience and knowledge. And so they're gonna give us little questionnaires that we can use to basically display how much experience and knowledge we have. And I'll show how we do that in Interactive Brokers. Also our financial situation. So when you set up the account in the first place, then we're gonna ask things about what's your annual income? Where does it come from? What's your net worth? What's your liquid net asset value? Stuff like that. And so obviously a higher value is better for all these things and will allow you to access higher tiers. There might also be risk tolerance questionnaires and all this is gonna be based on regulations. So let's jump into our account to see what tiers we can get access to. So you can go over to this page, and if you don't have an account, you can click open an account. If you already set one up, you can go and click log in. So we're gonna log in, and we'll do the live one right now because I believe that the paper trading account is going to already have all the tiers set up. So let's just go ahead and log in. So now I have just logged in and I'm going to go up to my little guy icon right here in the top right and hit on settings. So when you set up the account, you put in information about yourself. So we're gonna see that in financial profile. Now, if you want to change any of these things, let's say if they're updated or not, you can add in basically if you increase your annual income, net worth, uh, liquid net worth, stuff like this, this is going to allow you to get higher tiers. Now we also have this investment experience. So I've put some in here right now. You can see that I've put in stock experience. So if I want to add information about my options experience or even perhaps other asset classes that I want to trade, I can go over back to here, hit on settings, and then I can go find permissions. So down here I see trading permissions. I'll click on that. So right now I'm interested in looking at requesting access to different levels of options. So I'm gonna click on options. You can see there's all sorts of other things that you could click on uh, to change settings for. So I'm gonna request options. Now we can see here's all the different levels. This one's just buyer right, so long and short or we can do covered calls. Then level two has the stuff in level one and then all these new strategies. And generally these strategies are gonna get more and more risky as you increase. Eventually level four would include every possible thing. So take a conscious look at what strategies you think you actually might do and you'll be more likely to get accepted for a lower tier permission. So let's say uh, maybe we don't really want to do anything in level four. So we're really just going to click on level three. We're interested in some of these strategies, for example. Then we can select that and hit continue. Now I have another available thing to add experience for, which is options. So I already have my stock experience listed. Now I can go and set my years of experience with options. So I'll go ahead and select five years of experience. How many option trades do I make a year? 
let's say I make 11 to 25. Now basically the more years of experience you have and the more trades per year that you make, the more higher of a tier that you should be able to be approved of. Also, they're gonna ask you about your amount of knowledge. So I'm gonna go ahead and truthfully say that I have an extensive amount of knowledge in options. And now I'll hit continue. Now, it's uh, verifying everything I just said. I'm looking to put in a new request for options in the United States at this level, this uh, level three. And now I'm just going to have to digitally sign my same name. Hit continue. And you can see now that my request has gone through. My, it was submitted and now I'm just going to have to wait for their teams internally to review it and get back to me about whether or not my application was successful. If it wasn't successful, I may have to go back and change some settings about my amount of knowledge, how often I trade, how long I've been trading for. But legally, you should be honest about these things. And if you're dishonest about it and you tweak it so that you can get these higher levels of permission that you really don't know about, you could lose a lot of money by getting access to strategies you don't truly understand. This video is a part of my course, Options Theory to Practice. I'll guide you step-by-step step through the fundamentals of options, all within a safe and controlled paper trading environment where no real money is at risk. You can learn more via the link in the video description or pinned comment.